All right, we're gonna do a Claude 2 and Neuron Writer workflow today. We are experimenting. Uh, I haven't done this exact prompt and also used Neuron Writer together, but I'm gonna go ahead and work on this. I figured I would just record myself while I'm kind of coming up with this new strategy for one of my websites. It's actually for the LearnWire um, brand right over here. Um, you can see sometimes when I when I have time, I will publish my reviews over here. And uh, there's a couple of different strategies that you can do uh, with this. So like with Wope Review right here, this was a recent video of mine, right? <clears throat> and I like to uh, go ahead and use this strategy in order to get a nice uh, looking blog post right here that is extremely relevant and don't mind uh, this is uh, i haven't really done a whole lot with this website i don't have my um you know proper uh writer um you know credentials or profile setup if you will um i don't really have a proper navigation this is just kind of where i just uh, throw some stuff up and um, believe it or not uh, i have a lot ranking if i come over here to learn wire pro right here the stuff that i've gone after i actually do uh rank for them right so pretty cool stuff um this woke review, I literally uh, published this like, when did I publish this? Um, on November 30th. So it's been six days and it's already ranking for woke review right here. Okay. So um, this stuff it does uh, for the most part index pretty quickly, even on a site that, you know, I'm not, I don't have no authority or anything like that. I don't even have proper navigation or anything set up, but pretty cool. <clears throat> but um, you can go and take the, um, we're going to be looking at sessions review, right? Because I did not publish this on my website yet. So I'm going to go and click in here on sessions review, the keyword. And this part right here, what you can do in Neuron Writer is you can see that there's not any good content on here, right? I'm sure that there hasn't any hasn't been anyone that's done a 20 to 30 minute video review on this and that actually could um, write, uh, you know, a really good article on this. But the also deal is, is that the problem with these um like ltds that you know they're not really well known and it's uh you just type in sessions review a lot of this what's going to happen over here is that it's not going to be um the actual software right so we do have this right over here sessions reviews right here i think that this is the product right here but um google's confused on what to to actually rank for sessions because um it's not just a clear brand uh, if that makes sense but we still need to outrank everyone. Um, we're actually going to change uh, gears here. I'm going to actually go with uh, Voila because I think that this will probably be, it's more of a seasoned um, keyword. It's been around a while. So we're actually going to go and uh, go after this one right over here. So this is, I'm going to take this as my latest uh, review video. So I'm going to click on this real quick. That I'm going to go back over to Neuron Writer and put in a new keyword over here and see if we can get some better results. Another thing that you could do, I'm gonna just go like that, voila, review, start. Another thing that we could do is come over to Google and type this in and just see um, the videos relevant. There's my video right there, <clears throat> app review. And so there, it looks like there might be uh, like number three. I don't think that that uh, number three and number two don't have anything to do with it. So um, a lot of these, uh, number four is good. So uh, it, you're going to get a mix, uh, and that's kind of something that I struggle with actually using AI for um, doing the reviews for my channel because there's just not enough information. I'm the first to the market with this information, right? Um, but I'm trying to see if I can get some SEO keywords from Neuron Writer, um, and that's why I'm uh, trying to plug this in to see if we can get some keywords. So I'm going to go ahead and click over here. We're going to open this up and then this is where you want to pay attention to the ones you're selecting to make sure that it is like right over here um, this is not the software so i'll go ahead and click off that i'll click off that this one's good um that one's not good that one's not good that one's good that one's not good that one's not good this one's good 2500 words right there boom and that one's good as well right there only 300 words so i'll see if i can add a couple more over here um looks like there's a grocery app or something like that um, as well that's called that and so and that's some of these brands i mean they need to really do their research either they need to go and um 
they need to trademark their name. And then when someone goes and tries to copy their name, they need to go after them or vice versa. They need to see if someone else already has that name before they start their brand. And then it would, uh, it would prevent this from happening. Right. So it looks like we're only going to get one, two, three, four. Um, that's fine. We're just going to go with four. Um, oh, we have to select five. Um, so I'm going to say no. So let's go and find one more. Oh, okay. So there's one right here and it's only, it's on AppSumo, but whatever. We'll go with that as well. We'll just select that one and we'll go next because I want to see what keywords people are using just to make sure that we can try to prompt Claude um, in here with this. I'm going to have this complex prompting and see if we can get it, uh, it to work for us. Okay. So we're in here. We do have all these keywords right over here. Browser extension, chat history, AI writers. So it looks like it's very uh, targeted to what we would want um, in our content. So then next what I'll do is I'll come down and I'll gra uh, grab, I'm just going to copy the list of terms right here. And then I'm going to go over here to my notepad. And then I'm going to paste these into this prompt right over here. We'll go over the prompt in a minute. We're obviously not going to ask um, for all of these keywords to be included. What I'm go really going after is just the, um, the basic terms are the most important, I believe. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, stick with basic terms right here and maybe uh, keep a couple extended terms as well. I don't really want Jasper in there, so I'm going to go ahead and remove that. And maybe we come like right over to here. So I'm going to remove the rest right there. That's quite a bit of keywords, but it's not too much. It's not overwhelming. It is on point. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and remove this little part that says basic terms right here as well. All right, so we have this uh, prompt right here. Um, it's really giving a lot of background information right here. So I own uh, the website uh, LearnWire Pro. I'm trying to connect the YouTube brand and the website. Uh, so you can see right there what LearnWire does is reviews, blah, blah, blah. So right here, I need to just go over here and say uh, the parts in bold is what I need to um, adjust. It's called voila. And then right over here, I need to just come over here that uses the power of um, open AI and chat GPT in your browser to make your work more efficient, something like that. And then here's some major keywords. So right here, I'm going to put in the law review and maybe I'm just going to say um, hi, quality content using AI, something like that. And then the rest of it, you can see use H2s, H3s. And, um, you know, I have my structure right here. So uh, make sure to include H2 headings and cover the topic fully. Key takeaways, introduction, pros, cons, reviews, AppSumo, um, uh, user interface, AppSumo, lifetime deal pricing, verdict. And then please um, write in first person and then write from firsthand experience and expertise, make the article 800 words in length. I find when you go higher, like 2000 words and stuff, it's it's just gonna struggle, especially with this topic. Um, keep that in mind, guys. Most of you are not gonna be doing, um, you know, a website on these little software tools that don't, there's not really a whole lot of information on the internet and I'm actually providing the information. Um, if it's, uh, you know, just more of a known, uh, niche like camping or something like that, um, you're going to be able to put 2000 words in here and Claude is going to be able to handle that. Um, but I've just found that in this particular case, uh, with this very specific, um, it, you know, around 800 words is what I'm going to get. Um, remember to base the article off of the pasted transcript here. I'm going to show you this part in a second. Uh, more things to do in this article, please bold important keywords throughout the article, provide bullets and tables when appropriate. I actually don't know if, uh, Claude can do tables or not. Um, finally, include these SEO keywords listed below. So like I said, guys, I'm just testing uh, and we're going to track this and see if we can get this ranking. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this whole thing. We have the SEO keywords that I want to include right here, and that's where why we used NeuronWriter. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this whole prompt copy. I'm going to go into Claude and I'm going to paste this in right here. And then before we do that, this other step is very important, guys. So um, I've noticed um, last time I tried to come over here to the three dots, uh, transcript is gone. 
They no longer um, have transcript over here. If any of you guys can tell me why they did that, but you can no longer get access. Uh, maybe that is because it was too easy to copy people's transcript uh, and, you know, um, and people are, were abusing it, but we already know. So like, I've noticed that this has been missing for the last like three weeks or so. Um, but we all know that there is uh, far uh, too many ways to get uh, transcripts. So I'm going to come over here to this site down sub, and I'm just going to paste this in right over here. We're going to download. And of course it's spammed to heck with ads and so forth, this site, but we go over here to this text right over here. So I'm going to click the text. And then it just downloaded this new one right here. Um, if we opened that up, this is what it looks like. It's the, what you're used to looking at with the, uh, the, the transcript, right? So we have our whole transcript there. We do need the file. So I'm glad that it provides the file because when we go back into Claude, I'm going to click on this attach file, and then we're going to go ahead and attach that transcript as well, right? So now we're using the power of Claude. And we have this massive transcript or this massive, uh, well, it is a massive transcript that we've attached. And that's the actual facts of my review. That's the entire, you know, we're not copying anybody's work because I created that video. It's all my own work. And I'm feeding that into Claude. Uh, and that's what I love about Claude. And we can paste this entire giant transcript in there. That's thousands of words and then have this complex, um, prompt right here telling it exactly how I want it to write the article. And then also I have LSI keywords in here as well. I'm going to go ahead and push enter now, and we're going to go and see what Claude can come up with for us. We'll be right back. Uh, we know that Claude, one of the things is that it's a little bit uh, slow um, as far as just, it's just not the, the fastest, but you know, <laughs> um, this would take hours upon hours to actually write this. So it's going out there. It's doing this. Um, you know, it's bolding our keyword, uh, bolding keywords and so forth. That's pretty cool. Maybe it's a little bit too many um, uh, bolds, but uh, maybe we can tell it to, you know, only um, bold. It has to go over two sentences before it can bold another keyword. There's different things we can do, but you can see it's following what I told it to do. Uh, we've got the key takeaways right off the bat. Voila is an innovative AI powered um, productivity Chrome extension that helps you get more done in less time. In this Voila review, I'll cover the key features. So it used first person, I'll cover the uh, key features, pros, cons. And this is going to help with the EAT score, right? Um, the expertise for my site, um, because I'm actually doing the full review and this is perfect. I'm just getting help from uh, AI. So this is probably one of the best ways to actually use AI with content writing is because I'm feeding it the actual review, the facts, the, the pricing and so forth. I'm telling it to write in first person, which I would want to from my own experience. And then at the end of my videos reviews, I usually do a final verdict. If I, you know, think that the tool's good worth buying so forth, and um, it's just following along nicely. It's giving me my pros. So it's going to take that entire transcript and pick out what I liked about it, the pros, the cons right over here, um, et cetera, et cetera, right? So then we have tier one, $49 for 2000 requests per month. So this is 100% accurate right here. Um, 179 for unlimited requests, right? So consider your email volume and content needs. So I really go into e uh, email using it for email and so forth. And you can see right here, very specific AppSumo lifetime deal pricing, right? So this is really, really good. The um, prompt that I have up here, I've titled it. Um, this is LearnWire Claude YouTube prompt, but this needs to be uh, with the dash and I need to say app sumo review because if uh, the source isn't review isn't app sumo then this will change a little bit right because we wouldn't want we wouldn't be talking about app sumo at all so i'll need to take that same prompt and adjust it a little bit um, depending on where um, i actually did the review what platform i did the review on right so and then we have our verdict if you regularly tackle a packet uh, packed inbox voila is an easy recommended recommend and this is very much factual. This is where AI struggles when if you if I just plug this in and say voila review into Koala, even though Koala is probably my favorite AI writer right now for just literally writing uh, blog posts and ranking them um, for certain things like what I'm doing right here, you really do have to put in the work and there really isn't going to be any AI tool that's going to be perfect uh, because it's not going to have enough information to write your article on, if that makes sense. So this works really well if you really are producing the content yourself. 
this is a great way to get this written for us. So um, despite some uh, accuracy issues, the amount of time, blah, blah, saves me is phenomenal. It takes care of the busy work, blah, blah, blah. I give voila a solid four out of five. It's now a core tool in my work stack that helps me run my online businesses more efficiently. Try it yourself using my affiliate link below for the AppSumo deal and let me know what you think. This is actually sounds like I actually wrote this uh, myself, right? The way that this just wrote that is something, the way that I actually would write. So it's really cool. Um, it's taking the context from my actual transcript, uh, the transcript that I put in here, it knows the way that I speak, right? The unscripted way that I speak and so forth. It's applying the first person to it, applied the bolds. Now the test would be, did it pull in any of these keywords? So, and then also the next test would be, um, how long is this? I'm going to right click and I'm going to use my little plugin here and it's going to tell me, so it only did 583 keywords. I'm going to right click. I'm going to copy. So it does kind of struggle, um, to get a uh, word length. I might need to work on uh, that, but somebody that is coming to my website and actually wants to, um, you know, wants to know what this is and so forth. It really doesn't need to be more than uh, that many words. Um, it, it, anyways, right. It's really covering all the pros, the cons. Um, I don't have reviews. I think it didn't put reviews in here cause I might not have went over reviews. Uh, and that's exactly right. It didn't go over AppSumo reviews. Like I told it to, because I know that in my, um, I don't believe that I actually went over that in my uh, video. So I'm going to come over here last step and just paste this in and see kind of where we're at, see what this looks like. Um, the H two is right over here. I've seen some other creators, uh, creating content in Claude. They were having t a hard time with, um, apparently all these were H ones, but it looks like it did a great job pasting it in here uh, for me right here um, and then of course we already know that voila review so we would need to just take this and we would need to copy this and go into the title and throw that in right there <clears throat> save and close and see what our updated um, 59 score that is pretty good um, for just right out of the gates right a 59 score almost 60 i really like that uh, we would want to aim for a 77 uh, if we're using Neuron Writer the way that it wants. Um, but then look at all these basic keywords, green, green, green. So 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So it, it provided uh, a good over 20 keywords that it would recommend to us in here. So this is a pretty SEO optimized, but it's not over optimized. I'd be feel comfortable around the 60 mark. Um, I would feel comfortable with uh, publishing this. Um, there might be something that um, I might want to add my own paragraph right here. Should you get voila, even though I kind of answer that in the verdict over here, um, I could add a little bit more in here if I wanted to. But overall, of course, we could add the FAQs and I could up this score. But I really like this right here. I want to see if this kind of new workflow that I was thinking of, I don't think anyone else has used this particular workflow uh, using the keywords, the LSI keywords from Neuron Writer, um, and then using a transcript from a YouTube video, and then using Claude to actually do the writing. I don't know if anyone else has done that. So I wanted to share this with you guys. Looks like it actually, and this was the first time I've actually done this, by, by, the, by the way. Um, it looks like it did a really good job. I'm pretty happy with it. And I'm going to come through here and look at uh, readability score is at 51. So we're at 10th grade. That's actually really good. The average um, is 46 and we got a better reading score than the typical that's out there right now. So that's actually really, really good because readability is a measure of how difficult the content is to read and understand. Zero, um, zero equals very difficult, right? So um, they, uh, the average content is a 46. We have a 51. So we're even better than the, than, um, the average content that's on there. That's good. I'll take 10th grade. I'd like to say eighth or ninth grade would be better, but 51, anything in the fifties is really, really good. I don't really know a whole lot of AI writing tools. I'm going to be doing more tests that actually have readability scores. I think that Claude has one of the best readability scores right out of the gates. So overall, pretty cool. I'm going to go publish this. I'll keep track of this and I'll keep you guys posted. Thanks for tuning in. Thought you guys would like this workflow right here. Uh, I'll see you next time.